Here's a little model of that car that Joe brought down, Joe Smith, yeah. Bill yeah. Russell car right there. Is that the one that's sitting out here? The one sitting out here. Yeah, right? yeah. Like it. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Did Bill drive this one? Bill drove that one. He won three modified champions from 1970, 71, 72, three in a row. He's only beat one time, one A main, lost uh, all three years, lost one race. Won three consecutive years in a row. Bill, they they Bill. outlawed the straight axle car, made him start going to the A frame car, yeah. and they got rid of the car, you know. Oh, Bill, he had some hair. Yeah. I know my son, I used to, he was a, about two and a half years old. Yeah. I'd, I'd carry him around now in the pits and I'd come up to Bill and he always wanted to wear Bill on his head. Oh, he had one rub that head. On that yeah. Bill was running down the back straightaway there in Austin. And he was coming out of turn two and heading down the back straightaway. And number 106, you remember you had two flats. Both of them were. Johnny Dollar running. <laughs> hey, I think I. I got him out of that car, I picked him up and had him from outside the thing and his boot was on the floorboard. <laughs> I had to set him back down there and he was pretty heavy fella. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, Bill, that he had two flats and they're uh -huh. still running a yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, but he was staying down. I'd that, run down uh, lower than I could. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and, and here comes 106 inside of him, and man, it just wadded that old car yeah, yeah. up. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. And flip. I mean, it was just, yeah. it was barrel roll. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not end over end, not yeah. barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Now, I tell you, the worst part of that is me riding with him to town, that Emma. <laughs> <laughs> you look at this car right here. That right here yeah. Now that right there oh. messed up, ain't it? I mean it is. Which one is it? It had two wheels on the ground. It had this one right here and this one right here. Yeah. Was that your car? No, no, no. Uh -uh. That was one of them super modified. Oh. Remember? I, mean, uh, I drove a train map fella a long time. <laughs> 106? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was Jack Westmoreland. Yeah, but now that was in Houston, what, right? Huh? Wasn't that in Houston? I ran in San Antonio. I had a little brother, Happy Man, that worked in a wrecking yard. And he went, went to wrecking yard all the time with me, you know. And we had run a little late, and I stopped at the old man with that little gas station. And we're, put, we're going to do two at once, put gas and help the man on. I mean, yeah, gas, both of them, but he put diesel in that help the man on. <laughs> By the time I got that point, Jason the thing didn't bother him running. <laughs> I didn't think Did you know you had done that? Uh huh. No, I didn't. That wasn't me. Or was you? I was standing. I was standing at the gate, listening to Pop oh. when he was trying to wait for to turn into the pits yeah. out there on the highway, <laughs> and you can hear it. Pow! Boom! Pow! I thought, man, there was somebody shooting somebody out there. And I looked around, and here he come, a uh, Cadillac, and right up to the gate, turning on. I said, What the world going to be? We put diesel. <laughs> They like quit running, boy, and I just kept it going, you know. <laughs>First, I just went. I went to the Austin Speedorama, the asphalt. I didn't know for a long time that they even had dirt, because he raced there and then in Houston at uh, Meyerland, and it was a half mile asphalt in San Antonio. And then next thing I knew, we was going to Waco and where it was dirt. The yep. very first race that I went to. Uh, was in Austin and the thing that I really liked about him was when he would go to the concession stand they had it was in between the pits was in between the, the grandstands and they had a concession stand there and whenever he would go to the concession stand all the kids would just rush to the fence 
and holler at him and he paid attention to him and I didn't see anybody else do that but and I thought wow kids like him <laughs> <laughs> I worked at a cafe and he came in there all the time so I knew him and the reason I went down there is a girlfriend of mine was going down there and his friend she was going with his friend and she wanted didn't want to ride down to Austin by herself so she asked me to to ride uh, with her so that's how I come me to go and you can chime in anytime you want Bill <laughs> you, can, you can add anything you want to this <laughs> who was that that pushed you across the uh, the finish line Oh, Jack Gilmore from Tando. Your car just quit running? Mine quit running, you know, coming out of the last turn, just shut down. And old Jack had been following me, you know. Well, he just dove in right by him and pushed me across the finish line. <laughs> Did he know your car had quit? Yeah, uh, no, he didn't tell the gun pregnant and it wasn't no angle. So you're just coasting and he's trying to get around you and all of a sudden yeah. he's on your tail and pushes you out. Yeah, he <laughs> was a little old Troy Davis, that fella, and he was really funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys talk about that afterwards? Did you have some laughs? Did you tell him? Did, did you, you tell him? him? Oh, yeah, I told him, I told him, I thanked him, you know oh, what? Oh, you thanked him? He liked painting. <laughs> did what? Did you go to any honky-tonks? Oh when? no! <laughs> <laughs> After ever race, you, <laughs> you might have seen Herschel if you had. <laughs> Mostly, you went in in Austin in San Antonio. You went to the cafe, didn't you? Because yeah. he don't he never would eat before a race, you know. Oh. So he was always he hadn't had supper yet. So <laughs> you race harder when you're hungry. That's what uh I never could eat before right? I don't want to would get hungry. <laughs> Both my boys are different. They yeah. just eat right they up can time. eat. Don't bother them, but yeah, Bill never could. You know, the only thing they do now they don't do now they used to do is run trophy dashes. It was a four or six lap race for fastest cars qualified. They'd time in. You time in every race, mm -hmm. you know, and then they'd take them, usually four cars, because they didn't have that many cars all the time, four, they run that trophy day, mm -hmm. and get a little old trophy, I got a trailer for a living right down there. And we have four laps. This yeah, it is, yeah, that was just the opening race. That was the first race every night was trophy day. I don't, they don't even write no more, no more. Yeah, we don't see it too much anymore. That was one of the first cars you drove for Joe Smith. Uh, this was in Austin, I think. I don't know what they're doing there. Is that purple? <laughs> yeah, he had on a wig. Oh, oh we drove it. We went around the road. That was taking on the highway. We we're going to Blake to Austin. Mm, Navasota. Yeah. Yeah. That was at Meyerland when Bill won the feature. They gave him a trophy, and Paul went out there with him. Bill White thinks of Indy. <clears throat> yeah. What was you thinking? What th was you thinking? I was thinking about him giving me a car ride and wrecked it the night before. Old boy run trucking business, old Ebb Road down Houston. Danny Burke had him picked up for me to take a test at Indy, you know, in his car. He'd run up there every year for years, never did run that. 
had good equipment too. And old Danny Burke got me set up to take my driver's test up there, you know. And old Roe wrecked that car that night before we left. Now, I never did run big. I run two of the little 500. There's a different car. We haven't seen this one. 614. No, here they are. Is that you, number four? Yeah, I think so. 